Okay, so the next algorithm is edge picking algorithm. So in this one, it allows you to choose or mark any of the smallest edges as long as no single vertex has three mark edges. So diba, in the greedy algorithm, we have a sort of system. Okay. Diba, for example, we start at A, and then if this one is the smallest, we choose this one. This one is the smallest, we choose this one, and so on. But in edge picking algorithm, we can actually choose all of the smallest edge. Okay? So let me bring you to the process. Okay, I think we have the same given. So, minarkahan na agad yung A and D. Kasi in the first place, at saka yung B and D. Sila yung dalawang may pinakamalit na weight. So, obviously, you want the smallest sum. So, you choose the smallest um, weights or the edges with the smallest weights. Now, which one, uh, which weight is next to 4? So, 5, di ba? 5. I can choose this too. Okay lang kasi you, you need to watch out, di ba? May dalawa na yung nasa A and B. Ibig sabihin, I can no longer choose this one because that will result to 3. I will be marking B three times. So that's not allowed. This tool as well. Okay. There's another 6 here. I'll choose that one. So this one is... Oh. Now you have to pause. Yung F and C na lang yung tig isa um, mark only once. That's why I have to now choose the edge that is connecting them para both of them at the same time will be marked twice as well. Okay? So now I have a closed loop. So if I start at A, my route will be A. Hmm. How do I do this? Okay. A and then E and then C and then F and then B and B to D and then D to A. Okay. That's a route. Okay, I'll get the sum. 4 plus 2 plus 14 and so on. 36. Now, which one resulted to the smaller weight? 32. So, in this particular graph, yung greedy algorithm, yung nag result to, to a smaller sum. Now, let's practice that again. Let's say I'll start with... Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, a, I'll start at A. Obviously, I have to pick 3. That's B and C, B to C, and then 4, that's C and D. So C has to twice mark now, mark twice now. I cannot choose B to D, that will create a loop, diba? that will close the circuit. Pero hindi ko pa napupuntahan yung iba, this one I can choose. Now D is marked twice already, this one has 5, a weight of 5 as well, so 2. So, yan, E and A na lang yung tig isa. So, I have to su select the edge that is connecting them. So, now all of the vertices are marked twice. So, if we start at A, how do we do it? Mm, A to D, and then D to C, and then C to B, B to E, and B, um, E to A. That's my route. Okay, it says here, if you get the sum, that will be 35. Okay, um, let's have some, um, let me say, real, more real life or closer to life application. So, Susan needs to do several errands on different locations. The estimated driving time in minutes between each of these locations is shown. Uh, now, we're given with time or we're given time. Use both algorithms to design the most efficient routes Susan can take. Mm. So, to go to the 
to go from her house to the post office that's 14 minutes from the grocery store to the rental store that's 17 minutes and so on so the first step is to make your own weighted graph so again i created a pentagon because i have five places to go to so i just created the pentagon para mas order the shutting net now i already started this because it will take too much time mm, from and also i mark the places letters or with letters a would mean the home b would mean the post office and so on so from a to b that's 14 minutes as shown here from a to c that's 12 minutes from a to d that's 20 minutes from a to e which is the bank that's 23 minutes okay actually let, let me pause the video and turn it on again once i completed drawing the graph since you already get the point okay now i have finished it um it it might get messy no if if your graph is too small because you have the values and then i think it's better if the weights are closer to the vertices the label i mean para madali mo makita okay let's first use the greedy algorithm so where do we start hmm it didn't say okay i think we should start at the home right so hmm so 14 12 20 and 23 obviously 12 so that means i have to go to the grocery first and then obviously i'll, I'll go to the eight so after the grocery the post office i can choose 14 but 12 of course so d is the video rental ah 17 is lowest tier, but i can't go back to the grocery store i already went there so go to the bank after the rental store and then finally go home so 12 plus 8 plus 12 plus 18 plus 23 okay let's reveal the sum later on okay Achincha, edge speaking algorithm. Okay, let me just copy that graph. Okay, there you go. I have the graph now. Let's do the edge speaking. So obviously, the smallest weight is 11. We also have two 12s. Okay, so she has, has been marked twice now. Hmm. I can choose 18 as well. Okay, I'm not closing the loop. 2, 2. And then finally, uh, is, it, is it not the same? This one. Okay, so all of the vertices were marked twice. So how do we do this? So of course starting from home. So A C E and then to the grocery and then to the, ah I went to the bank first. And then to the rental store and then to the what's B uh, post office and then I went home. So twelve plus 11 plus 18 plus 12 plus 14 okay hmm. okay <laughs> i made a mistake let me correct myself um okay i think the mistake will be 
beneficial that's why I'm not removing this to the or in the video I didn't see the 8 I should have chosen 8 the first the first time so that's why you have to be careful because um, the route will be different if you chose 8 actually okay the smallest one is 8 and then 11 and then 12 so has been marked twice B and C I can't choose this 12 anymore because magtatatlo na dun sa C the next one is 12 14 I can do that as well magtatatlo sa B 14 17 magtatatlo sa C if I do that 18 magtatatlo sa D ah magkuklose ng loop so not that as well Mm. Huh? I think this one 21 is not allowed as well okay saan na lang yung naholing mark so E is marked twice uh, A and D I should connect them okay Finally, mm, how do I do this? From home, I go to D, the video rental, and then to the post office, and then to the grocery store, and then to the bank, and back to the home. So, 20 plus 12 plus 8 plus 11 plus 23 so right home let me clear this out it won't okay edge picking first home video rental post office the grocery, the bank, and home. Okay, that's that tallies up with our solution. How about and sorry, how about the greedy? So I went first to the home and then to the grocery store and then to the post office and then to the rental and then bank and home. So, home, grocery, post office, video rental, bank. Okay, that all is up. So, read the algorithm less than or smaller by one minute. So, Susan should use the greedy algorithm. Okay, I believe that's the last slide. Actually, this is actually the last module on Math in the Modern World. So after this one, mm, you will be doing your project for your finals. So I hope you learned something. And I guess I won't be saying, I'll see you next time.